You're watching WMAR 2 News. Baltimore City Schools held a ceremony of peace and remembrance today. They honored the 12 Baltimore students who died Good due morning, to gun violence everyone. this school year. Um, the students' welcome. names were read aloud as bells chimed. Braylon. The youngest was 13. Carlos. Speakers gave calls to action to stop the violence, and one student rose to speak on her relationship with Baltimore. Some call Baltimore the city that bleeds. Now I know why. It bleeds hope. When I was hopeless, it was more than my home. It was my band-aid. Baltimore bleeds to cover up our wounds. I was wounded. I used to cry myself to sleep every night, not hoping that the pain would stop, but that I would cry a little less. Every night I ran to hope. I ran to the lights. I found the charm in my city. I found the diamond in my sky, Baltimore. My sky, Baltimore. We're honoring these victims ourselves with a memorial page at WMAR2news.com slash not just a number. Governor Hogan wants answers about city violence. In a letter to Mayor Brandon Scott, the governor says the public needs to understand what's being done to implement the city's crime plan, how state money is being spent, and if the Baltimore Police Department is making any progress closing warrants on violent offenders. And towards the end of the letter, the governor says, quote, in February, you assured us that there was a comprehensive plan in place. But at this point, I do not believe anyone, including you, believes it is working. We did reach out to the mayor as well as the police commissioner, but have not heard back. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. And we're looking at an elevated chance for strong storms tomorrow, level two out of five with damaging wind and hail being our primary concerns, but some heavy rain and a brief tornado not out of the question. The morning's dry but cloudy, but those showers and thunderstorms will trickle in for the afternoon and linger through the early evening as daytime highs still soar towards the mids and upper 70s. Although showers clear out Saturday and we're looking at a pretty sunny and warm Sunday, warming into the 90s by your Memorial Day. All right, click with us online at WMAR2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather on the go, you can get a download on WMAR2news app in the App Store. Find it right there. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello.